Now, what I can see there, guys, is, wow, the most beautiful coffins. Timber, I believe. There's two on that side. Not sure about the other side. Hi guys and welcome back. Um, I am Sue, Serenity Sue. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload. Um, today I'm in Mount Jerome here in Dublin. And you can just see behind me here, these amazing monuments. So we're going to take a walk around, have a look at some of the mausoleums and vaults that are here as well. So come on. Let's go. Right, so today we are starting on this side. Um, I videoed before the other side. Um, so this is completely new to me and to you. So here we have John A. Mason. He was nature's gentleman, wrote underneath the angel there. Loving memory of my dear husband, John A. Mason, 1928. And you can see behind that angel, those beautiful blue skies there. I'm going to give you a look at just how large Mount Jerome actually is. And I mean, this is just one side of it. So let's see, we're just going to walk and talk and have a look at exactly what Mount Jerome has to offer. We have so many um, fantastic mausoleums, fantastic monuments. I mean, the Victorians really knew how to bury their loved ones in style. And I absolutely adore that old kind of um, gray look that the headstones take on after a certain amount of time. Just coming up here to the back of this angel. This is Martin Atok. And it says who died in his residence, age 67 in 1904. Now I know the sun is kind of creating a bit of a a shadow for you there. Just look at this. Wow, look at these railings. There doesn't seem to be anything in there. No headstone or plaque. Beautiful railings. Just look at this, guys. And you can see they're um, doing work here, but a lot of this is, you know, you can see some of the ground has sank. So some of the stones have, you know, become damaged, but hopefully it's a work in process. Look at that for a whole, like, 
just under there. Wow. We were actually here yesterday and there was um, a funeral going on. They had a man playing the bagpipes. They had the beautiful, you know, the, the top hat and tails. All the people before the hearse walking up along. Now I did video this one before, but it's definitely worth another look. And what interests me about this one is the way the stone has become blackened, her face and the baby's face. It says erected to the memory of Mrs. Martha Marie McGee. I might try and get around here. It's that morning sun. It's quite hard to give you a good shot. Right, more beautiful rails. Look at these ones. Look at that. Hey, yeah. Right. I'm going to walk up this way. Hear the bells in the background, guys. Now, we have some mausoleums here. Look at this. Beautiful green looking door. Family vault of the Right Honourable William Brookfield, whose remains lie within 1786, I believe, and died 1881. Wow, look at that, guys. I wonder, should we try and take a peep inside? So, what we can see there, maybe you can see a bit better now, our coffins. Try and zoom in a little bit. Just there, I'm not sure how many is there guys. It's actually quite hard for me to see the, the camera with the way the light is shining. So I hope it's showing a so what we have inside there I think we've probably two coffins and then it's just surrounded by all of these stones like Well, we've another one here, William John Napler, it looks like, eldest son of beloved Sir Joseph and Lady Napler, 1874. His short but useful life was adored by his gentle goodness and active benevolence, his love of what was pure and what was just, his dutiful and devoted affection to his parents and by his humble and sincere trust in Christ and Lord the Saviour. Now wait to take a look at this beautiful door. Now I'm not sure we'll see anything in here. There. Don't know how well it's going to pick it up, guys. There's one, I believe. But over here on this one, would you believe there's 
Like, look at that. Do you see that one there? Like that is literally just inside the door. It looks like there's, like the flowers are still kind of on it. It's very hard to get it. There is one of them. The other one is there. But it's almost like there's a load of dried flowers still on top of it. And just there, it's like the material from inside the coffin. This is Isabella Marion. Another green door. Wow, the, the coffin like is, it's like it's just there. Literally no room for anything. Like as soon as you get in that door, the coffin is there. Look at the beautiful, like not only is the door really, really pretty and that green color, but the stones are really, really nice. Like this one, look at this. We've even got the locks for the doors. The plaques seem to be gone and I'm not sure why. And you'll have to excuse my unsteady hand. I've taken you off the gimbal for a moment. Let's have a look, see if this one is the same. Okay, so this one The coffin is, is just there. Wow, we have the dried flowers on it still. That is amazing. Look at that. Now, I really won't know until I kind of in edit, you know, how much we can see. Because unfortunately, the light here is so strong that I'm not really able to give you a good look because I can't see on my phone what you can see if you understand. So it's always really, really interesting to kind of take a look inside. I'm not, not being disrespectful. I am, you know, so interested in what goes on inside these mausoleums, like hundreds of years later after the burial. Um, and just the design of them are, you know, they're just stunning, but it's almost like um, similar to buying a plot. You can almost buy a mausoleum that, you know, seems to be kind of the theme of this area. So, you know, the, this little uh, mausoleum or vault with uh, these green doors and they're just intriguing. Um, so we're going to take a little walk around and have a look at what else Mount Jerome has to offer here. Right, so let's keep going. It's actually um, quite hard to know where to bring ye. Let's have a look. The best ones are certainly the, the hidden ones. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at that guys. I presume it's a dove erected by Unsure of the first name. Is it Pen? Pen. 
Penelope? Or Penelope? Maybe Penelope Barry in memory of her beloved brother, James Barry Esquire. Youngest son of the late Sir Edward Barry, Baronet, 1875, and the youngest brother of the late Sir John Barry, Baronet. Died 1891. Look at that. Never quite seen anything like that before. At the base, then we have the cross. Wow, that's stunning. And uh, don't forget, guys, to leave your comments. I mean, I'm learning too, you know. Uh, we're all learning together, I suppose. And it's always nice to, to get the information from you. Look at that, Mary Jane and Muriel Dempster. Uh, 1898, 12. Hold on now, let's have a look again. So I think there's a few people um, memorialized here and it says Anne-Marie Finlater or Findlater. November 1896, aged us 12. Wow, and also Captain Percival St. George. Find later, that is obviously the surname, isn't that beautiful? 12 years of age, just so very, very young. So this is kind of like a vault, so it goes underground. You can see the size of it there. So maybe all her family are, are with her. Beautiful, against that blue sky then as well, guys. So the rails would have been on, you know, these posts, these iron posts. So we've lost the rails, unfortunately. But look at this behind it. What is this? Oh, wow. Wow, guys. This goes right down, like really, really far, probably 20 feet down. Let's see if I can get you... A little look in. Wow. We have an iron coffin. We have several iron coffins. And unfortunately, we do have remains down there as well. As you can see, one iron coffin there. One coffin there. Another there. Another one there. Some remains there as well. But that is a, a strange kind of a, a setup. It's interesting to see how far it actually goes down there. But as I said, we have remains. Just there, uh, you'd have to forgive my, my hand. But uh, just look at the size of it in there. It's quite amazing, but you can see the. this was obviously always open maybe, I don't know whether, you know, they would have had a, a glass maybe covering there, but it's almost like it's um, an iron grate. That is quite an interesting structure. I have never seen one like that. And now my shadow is in the way. And it's just because the, the sun is is behind me at the moment. It's quite early in the morning. So very, very interesting. You'll have to forgive my camera work because um, I'll have to take you off the gimbal to have a look just to see what way these things were constructed. It looks like there's iron there behind the, the cement. So obviously it was a door. Just to give you a look. A 360 with the newer plot there behind us. As I said, it's early morning. So we had to get here very, very early to um, try and get some video done. But then the sun is, is not so good in the morning. This is the Reverend Dennis 
George, it looks like, age 49 only when he passed. And I was erected by his son and I think it's 1849 possibly. Look at that. That is stunning as well. So I am actually presuming that all these here are underground vaults. Look at them all. Wow. We have the coat on because it was chilly, but now it's actually turning into a, a beautiful day, but they are giving rain later on, so we're actually heading home today. Wow, look at this one. It's almost like a, a chalice on top. I won't be able to read it, unfortunately. So as I said, the Victorians really knew how to bury their loved ones. You do not see anything, anything like this anymore. And look at this one. This is almost like um, maybe a, a temple. And actually this one looks like it has been beautifully restored. It's the family burial place of Alexander. Find later. And we have find later. It's up there with that, um, that beautiful angel. With some gorgeous Fresh flowers here even. That is stunning. Right, so I'm going to walk up along this way. Um, as I said, this is the, the newer burial ground. But we have some interesting monuments up here as well. You can see the rails there again. These seem to be faced slightly seem to be all faced actually in different ways some facing in some facing towards me and some away we have another beautiful mausoleum here and this is mrs erected by mrs william french over the vault of her late husband's father robert h french esquire of clan silla in memory of her beloved husband and two sons um, who departed this life the 24th of December 1876 and was buried here on his 64th birthday. Arthur Robert French was drowned yachting off the coast of Scotland, aged just 33 in 1876. And Henry Richard died November 1855, aged just five. The Lord gave and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we have a five-year-old in this vault or mausoleum. That is very, very sad. There's also a Louisa in there as well and a William John French. Look at the size of these. That's a beautiful one there. Anna Louisa, it looks like. Maybe 1885, age 27. And the, the weeping tree just hanging over the top of that. That is gorgeous. Oh, these are all so close together. I think some of these are vaults. You can see the way they're built, built up there with the cement and stonework. This square tomb has 1844 stamped on the side of it. Nice one here in the corner. Anne. Sacred to the memory of Anne. Montague. 
can't really read it and I don't see a date and the ivy there taking over the side of it So you can just get a sense there of how large Mount Jerome actually is. It's huge. And as I said, I will link my other video in the description box. And Grave Visitations is actually here as well. And he's going to do his very own video of this place and more interesting finds here at Mount Jerome. Right, we're just in another section. This is the North Walk down this way. I think that, I wonder what that is. Is it a crematorium, I wonder? Maybe not, I don't know. But I do know that cremate bodies here. Wow, look in there. See if we can get into it. Look at this headstone. John Armstrong. The date is just about gone. Beautiful designs there, look at that. The color of the stone. Life, how short. Eternity, how long. Life, out, how short here. And eternity, how long on the other side. That is gorgeous. You can see we've loads of urns, actually. Um, the Victorians seem to have used urns a lot. A massive one just there. And another one just there. But look at this one. Charles... Johnston, 1872. Wow, look at that. What a beautiful mausoleum. I know they're kind of referred to as vaults as well. Now, what I can see there, guys, is, wow, the most beautiful coffins. Timber, I believe. There's two on that side. Not sure about the other side. Possibly another one there, actually. Definitely another one there, I would say. There now. And I'll turn again slightly to the right. And we have them just there as well my phone would work and just get a glimpse of them there so there's possibly three maybe four people interred in this fantastic mausoleum a beautiful angel and she's pointing up to the sky stunning really and they're all basically the same kind of a structure with these gorgeous doors little keyholes and all in them and look, at this place just goes on and on and on. They're just amazing, aren't they? And you could easily spend days in here. But uh, Grave Visitations is off down there. So be sure to take, check out his channel as well. Right, so guys, I'm going to end it there. As I said, I've already videoed a lot of Mount Jerome for my channel. And uh, Grey Visitations is off over there somewhere doing his own video. Um, this place is stunning. Well worth to visit. Harold's Cross in Dublin, Mount Jerome. Please come and visit. And I can't tell you how large this area is. So just a short visit for me today. We have to get home. Um, if you like this content, please subscribe. Hit the like. Say, you know, Put a comment down below. Um, let me know where you're from. Let me know, you know, your favourite part of the video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well and that will let you know when I upload. Um, but for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all soon.